Hey, good afternoon. Welcome on our video today. Um, uh, today we are looking at biology, and uh, this one is from one exam. This one is a full paper, and uh, it has very important questions that you need to watch. And uh, you never know these questions; they can be repeated in your exams. May it be mid term end of term end of year uh, and uh, even kcse uh, if this is your first time to watch our videos kindly uh, subscribe to our channel uh, like this video and turn on notification uh, to the subscribers we really want to thank you guys for the support that you've given us you can see uh, the channel is growing very fast because of your support you can also write a comment for us uh, let us go straight to the first question you are told define biology remember this is form one define biology biology is the study of life or study of living things uh, B you are told to sit and explain the three main branches of biology three main branches of biology we have botany that one is the study of plants zoology that one is the study of animals microbiology that one is the study of microscopic organisms we go to uh, question number two we are told a state three importance of studying biology the importance of studying biology number one help to solve environmental problems e.g. pollution number two help to acquire scientific skills such as data collection used in everyday life next for entry into other professions or careers such as teaching number four knowledge gate can be used to enhance international cooperation next understand developmental stages in the human body go to number b to b name three careers that one uh, that require biology three careers that require biology uh, we have medicine we have teaching we have horticultural go to the next one list three environmental problems solved by studying biology one is pollution another one is food storage next one is drought next is poor health next is conservation of natural resources number four you are told uh, complete the table below about subdivisions of biology and branch on one side the other side is definition of that branch entomology is the study of insects genetics is the study of inheritance and variation uh, cytology is the study of cells omnithology is the study of bands in zoology that one is the standard of fish anatomy is the standard of internal structures of living organisms uh, ecology is the standard of living organisms in their surroundings morphology is the standard of external structure we go to next one physiology Physi physiology is the standard of um, body functions histology is the standard of body tissues virology is the study of viruses number five you're told uh, you're told to state eight characteristics that make an organism be called a living organism Organism. We have nutrition, uh, 
growth and development, respiration, sens sensitivity, uh, stroke, either irritability, excretion, movement or locomotion, reproduction, and then gishes change. Go to the next one. How does the nutrition differ in planted animals? Plants manufacture their own food are autotrophic while animals do not manufacture their own food as they are what heterotrophic number six uh, this question is very common a car or aeroplane is able to move from one place to another and they give out exhaust gases but it is not classified as a living organism. List the characteristics of living things that do not occur in motor vehicles. Number one, growth and development. Cars do not grow. They do not develop. Number two, irritability. They do not change according to the environment. And then reproduction. There is no car can uh, give birth to another car. Number seven. State the characteristics illustrated by the photo below. You can see it. Uh, method. Uh, that characteristics is what? That one is nutrition. We we'll go to the next one. You can see the band moving very fast. That characteristics is movement or locomotion. Number eight. Third, name the most suitable operator used to collect the following specimens for study in the laboratory. Grasshopper, you use sweep net. Rat, belt trap. Fish, fish net. Ant, putter or pit, pitfall trap. Stinging needle, that one is a pair, a pair of forceps. Number nine. Below is an apparatus used to trap specimen. Identify the apparatus. This one is pit for trap. And you can see an organism has been caught. Uh, you are told next to state the purpose of the part labeled R. You can see the part labeled R very clearly. Uh, to prevent entry of rain water prevent the entry of uh, rainwater or sun rays. Number 10. Number 10. You are told, uh, what is a specimen? What is a specimen? A specimen is a whole or a part of an organism being studied or examined. Number 10. And number 11 now. List three precautions made during a collection and observation of specimen what are some of the precautions that are taken during the collection and the specimen number one collect only the number of specimens you need number two do not harm uh, specimens during the capture or the collection number three do not destroy the natural habitat of the specimen number next after use return any live specimen back to the habitant whenever possible next dangerous or injurious specimen should be handled with a lot of care such include sting plants or insects make use of forceps and handle.